What's up everybody? I'm Sam. And I'm Nico. And we're here today to show you how to set up your DJI Inspire 1 for the first time. It's a lot easier than it looks, so let's get started. All right, first things first, we're gonna start with the camera. When you receive your camera for the first time, it'll be packaged somewhat like this. To undo this packaging, simply slide off your gimbal cover. Pop in a memory card if you wanna get some sweet shots. And if you're shooting in a bright sunny day, make sure you put your ND filter on. It just simply screws onto the front. Now, to mount the camera on the Inspire, simply line up the white line on the top of the gimbal with the white line on the front of the gimbal lock. It just goes straight up, and then you twist it to the left to lock it, as indicated by the icons. Now, let's set up your batteries for charging. You want to make sure you do this early on so that they're ready and charged by the time you want to fly. First, take your charging cable, and it has two ends. On the boxy end, you'll notice that it has a cover that opens up to reveal two prongs. These two prongs go into your battery. On the other end of the charging cable, you'll see another adapter. This goes into your remote. Just pop open the cover on the remote and plug it in. Once the charger's plugged into the wall, they'll both begin charging, and you'll know they're done when the lights on the battery in the remote turn off. Now it's time to get your propellers set up. You'll notice the propellers have two different colors, gray and black. These colors correspond to the colors of the mounting screws. The gray propellers go on the gray screws, and they twist clockwise to tighten down. Black propellers, vice versa, counterclockwise to lock down. Now, make sure you take the time to hold onto the motor and just twist the propeller to make sure it's on there nice and snug. These propellers are self-tightening, meaning that the direction the motor spins keeps the propellers tight on the Inspire. With that done, let's set up the remote. On your remote, you'll want to attach the mobile device holder, and that screws into the socket on the front of the remote. Next, let's plug in the mobile device. Take your mobile device's USB cord and simply plug that into the back of the remote. Put the other end into your corresponding mobile device. Now let's take a look at the controls on the remote. The two joysticks on the front are for piloting the Inspire. The buttons near your fingers here are for various controls such as uh, playback, video recording, photos, and exposure control. And then also on the front next to your power button, there's a return to home button, which you'll press if you want it to automatically fly back to you, and the transformation switch, which will raise and lower the landing gear. Now, let's get to the last step in setting up your Inspire. With your DJI Pilot app activated and plugged into your remote, with your remote on, take the battery and plug it into the Inspire. Now, press and hold once, release, and hold again for three more seconds, and the Inspire should turn on. You'll see that on your remote, what was previously a red light will now turn green. If this light is green, that means there is a link between the remote and the Inspire. It's important to have the remote on before you turn on the Inspire, because the Inspire may think that it has lost connection and may try to return home. So as long as the controller is on first, you may control it and it will not get confused or think that it has lost connection. So, now you are almost ready to fly, but before doing so, make sure you check out our next video on how to fly the Inspire. See you there.